In this video, we'll be doing some variation examples. Our first problem, y varies directly as x and inversely as the square of z. y equals 20 when x equals 50 and z equals 5. Find y when x equals 3 and z equals 6. Our first step would be to write the equation that translates this first part of the sentence. y varies directly as x and inversely as the square of z. Remember that when you have inverse variation, you divide by that quantity. Our next step is to plug in numbers that were given. y is 20. When x is 50. And z is 5. I have 5 squared. 20 is equal to k times 50 over 25. So 20 is equal to k times 2. Divide both sides by 2. k equals 10. Then we'll plug this k value into our equation. y is equal to 10 times x divided by z squared. Now we have enough information to finish our problem. Find y when x equals 3 and z equals 6. So y equals 30 over 36. And this fraction simplifies to 5 over 6. Another example. Y varies jointly as A and B and inversely as the square root of C. Y equals 12 when A equals 3, B equals 2, and C equals 25. Find Y when A equals 5, B equals 3, and C equals 9. So my first step would be to translate this into an equation that I can use to solve my problem. Y varies jointly as A and B, so all multiplication up here, and inversely, so divided by the square root of C. This is the equation that I'll use to solve my problem. I'm told that y equals 12 when a is 3, b is 2, and c is 25, square root of 25. Now I can solve for k. 12 equals k times 6 divided by 5. To get k by itself, I'll multiply by the reciprocal. So k is 10. Now I can put that k value back into my equation. y equals 10 times a times b divided by the square root of c. 
and then we'll finish our problem. Find y when a is 5, b is 3, and c is 9. So I need the square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3, so I can cancel this 3 with this 3, and we get y is equal to 50.